here's a portal I've prepared earlier. It goes to a good location. That is near the quicksand. You don't want to be standing on it in the dark when you put a torch down. That is a passageway to the mantle where we'll find the magma ocean. Normally you'd be quite lucky to have one this close to the portal, but I prepared this portal earlier in the interests of keeping the video a bit shorter. Near the fumeral. Dungeon in the passageway. <laughs> anyway, we have other places to be. The Magma Ocean. I've brought with me the finest tools for adventuring. The torch crossbow, binoculars and a hang glider. basalt columns. Islands of these can be found in the magma ocean. I'll get some height so I can glide there. What's glowstone doing in the mantle? Ah, it's a passageway. It ain't pretty, but nether basalt is the jewel of the mantle. It can be hewn and chiselled and resists explosions. Ideally, mods will use it for portal stones or other places where a valuable or hard to get material is required. Oh, that's a crystal geode fissure, way into the third region of the nether. This is our new destination. Looks like a filled in stairway. If you excavate those, they 
often lead somewhere, well, to another room in the dungeon. This is a giant crystal geode where the interior structure is covered in crystals. Theoretically, once you get from the nether to the mantle, you'll be able to find a, a fissure into one of these geodes, but they may be a fair distance away. This is an interesting location that I've set this portal to because the nether and the geode, the giant geode, are close together. This crystal geode is a proof of concept that something could be done with the spare space in the nether. So get your creative juices flowing. Another dungeon. <laughs> 